Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to talk about this video that's gone viral all over social media. I've been wanting to talk about it for a few days now. I just haven't gotten around to it. But this video has ruffled a lot of feathers. It's caused a lot of dialogue. And I think it's very much needed dialogue, especially in our community. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys the video of this man. And, you know, I don't know if he's trolling, if this is his real life, but I'm going to take what he's saying at face value. I'm going to take everything that he says in this video as a real person with real thoughts, real emotions, real feelings, and that he's keeping it 100% real, okay? I know there's a lot of fake videos that go viral, but we're just going to take this at face value. So please watch this video, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I got seven kids and seven baby mamas. Now, for the past few days, I've been going live, telling my story, speaking my truth. And a lot of women having an issue calling me a deadbeat because I tell them I was being irresponsible, yet not wearing protection. But I always tell uh, these women that I got pregnant that I do not want to be a father to these children. And I offer to pay for the abortion. Majority of times, they'll either take the abortion or they'll take a plan B. But only these seven have kept these children. But the crazy thing about it is they want me to be responsible for some children I told them I did not want. So for some years now, some of them been trying to get in contact with me, access denied. Because I, I don't really know why you're trying to get in contact with me. I didn't told you I did not want them kids. So don't expect me to be responsible financially, emotional, spiritually, mentally, or physically with some kids I do not want. And I don't give a fuck. What nobody think about it. You're not going to force children up on me. Yeah, we both made the decision to lay down and have intercourse. We both was irresponsible about the decisions we made that night. Yeah, I could have pulled out, but I didn't. And I ain't care to pull out because I'm not the one that's going to have to carry a baby for nine months. It's the woman. In my opinion, women should be more careful on who they sleep with. Because you're going to be like one of my baby mamas trying to find me so I can financially support a kid I didn't told her or them I did not want. Another thing is these just jump offs. These are the type of women that I ain't even had to do nothing for. The bad minimum, but they gave me access to their body and they think I want to be a, a father to a child for one of them. Like, I don't even have no type of love for these women. How do they expect me to love these children? Before y'all say, oh, he irresponsible, he a deadbeat, he don't take accountability. Yeah, I do. I just don't give a fuck. You ain't going to force these children on me when I told you I ain't want them. Yeah, I can offer to a pay for abortion, but at what point can I force a woman to go get an abortion? I cannot. A woman say, my body, my choice, but I say, it's my life. All right, so y'all just heard what he had to say. He went on a rant out of this world, okay? Now, I will say I took a lot from this video. I will also say that this video was a very much necessary teachable moment for everyone involved, okay? The people watching at home, the people giving him coochie, uh, you know, the people getting pregnant by him, the children who are watching. Um, this is a very teachable moment for everybody. One, the fact that he said that he didn't have to do anything for these women and these women were willing to just give it up to him and you know basically hand over their womb to him says a lot and this is fact you don't have to do a lot nowadays to get asked you you just don't and unfortunately that is the culture that we live in and I've been talking about this for years it, there's there there's no dates there's no strolls in the park there's no even if you know, these rap females are bragging about going shopping. Okay, and, all right, you got a bag, now what? You know, there, there's no courting anymore. There's no going out to dinner, sitting with the parents, meeting the family. Y'all don't even know each other's real names. 
there's people who literally date and the only name they have for that person is their Instagram name or their social media name, their user handle. It's insane, but that's the world that we live in where there is no courting. There is no real dating. Everything is swipe right or swipe left. A lot of young people have been indoctrinated with this hookup culture. And this hookup culture, unfortunately, is destroying a generation of innocent children who are not asking to be here, okay? So he said he's meeting these women, telling them right off the rip, I don't want no kids, but he's also not taking the responsibility of finding a way to prevent said children from being conceived and born. Because my issue is this, if you don't want children, that is your right. But you also have to take destiny into your own hands, that be like me saying, well, I don't want to gain any weight, but all I do is sit around all day and eat. That doesn't make any sense. If you don't want to do something, then you go about tackling the issue. So if you didn't want seven children, you should have got a vasectomy. Point blank, period. There are men who know, you know what? I don't trust women like that. Women are scandalous. I'm not trying to be on child support. So I want my shit snipped. I don't want any heirs. I don't want any children. And there are men who go through that drastic step of getting a vasectomy and not having any children. Matter of fact, there was a young girl in the Discord who went through that drastic step. When I tell you, she's gorgeous. She wasn't ugly, beautiful girl, nice shape. She went and got a full-on voluntary hysterectomy at the age of 25. Shocked the fuck out of me because I didn't know that was an option. She didn't want any children. She made that conscious decision that she does not want to bring any children into this world. And she went as a woman and got, and got a full-on hysterectomy. Not getting her tubes tied. She got all of her end parts removed. Okay? That is somebody who was serious about not getting pregnant and not bearing children. So this brother could have did the same exact thing if he was really serious. But see, he, he's not serious about it. He's not really about that life. What he wants is social media attention. He wants virality. He wants to go viral. And he wants attention and validation. And he's getting all of this, okay? Because, again, when you're serious about something, you're going to do your best to protect yourself and your best self-interest. You're not going to leave your destiny in a hood rat, a jump off, a chicken head's hands. So, for me, he's full of shit. But with that being said, two things can be right at the same damn time. And he made a lot of clear points that people need to understand and folks need to get out their damn feelings. Because people watch that video and they automatically get mad and they get triggered because many of y'all females who are watching that video found yourself in the same exact situation. A lot of y'all saw the red flags. A lot of y'all knew the dude wasn't shit. But you swarping down that once he laid eyes on that beautiful baby... His heart would melt and everything would change. Y'all remember that Brian McKnight video I did years ago and people were dragging me for it? Because I said in that video, a man would treat a woman who becomes his baby's mother depending on how she got pregnant. And people thought I was being funny. I was being dead fucking serious. If it was a one night stand, if he had no real connection with you and you happen to get pregnant, that is technically how some men, they can be as dishonest as they want to be feel about the children. They feel about the children in the same manner in which the mother got pregnant. Now, let's say they were in a marriage and they were together and, you know, somebody that he's been known since high school and college, and then they happen to separate and get divorced. That is going to be a lot different. How he handles those children nine times out of 10 will be a lot different because there was love there. They actually built a family. They actually built something. Then somebody he was just tricking off with, you know what I'm saying, got pregnant. And then nine months later, she shows up with DNA tests and court papers and shit like that. Is it right? No, it's not right. But you can't tell people how to react to certain situations and what they're going to do. And I feel like a lot of men who end up in those situations, they feel away and unfortunately they take it out on the children. I think this entire conversation definitely needs to be an educational piece. I keep seeing people saying we need to save this and show this to our daughters, our daughters, our daughters. Yes, the daughters do need to know that men like this also exist, but you also need to show it to your sons because your sons also need to know that this is not what it is to be a man.
Because, see, a real man who really stands for something is not going to allow his destiny and the purpose that God put him on earth to lay in the hands of jump offs, hood rats, chicken heads, and whatever else he wants to call these women. A real man is going to say, you know what, instead of me putting myself at risk and my body at risk and creating all these soul ties with these less than desirable, quote unquote, women, I'm going to carry myself with respect, find a good woman, potentially marry her and create life and raise a strong family. That's what a real man does. A real man is not ducking, dodging and hiding from child support when he put himself in that situation. It's very funny that. When some of these men get women pregnant, all the blame just solely goes on the woman. He knew what it was. He knew possibly that they weren't on birth control. He already said he knew they weren't shit. So both y'all just two ain't shit people fucking. And nobody's thinking of what happens if we create a child. So no blame for him. All the blame goes on her. And I just find that very interesting because to me, it definitely takes two. And a lot of women need to look in the mirror and understand that, like I've said from day one, if you're sleeping with somebody and you can't see them being a father to your child, you shouldn't be sleeping with them. Because accidents happen, people get pregnant, and if this is somebody that you're just looking at them just for sex or comfort or just for the time being, then you better do everything in your power to not get pregnant. Because at the end of the day, that is your body being put at risk. Going through labor as a woman puts so much stress, wear, tear. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful spiritual experience, but it's a lot of hell on your body. And if you're going to put all of that torture and all of that pain in your body, put your body through that for somebody who's worth it. Put your body through that for somebody who doesn't see your child as a fucking burden and a child support check. Put your body through that for somebody who's worthy and wants to be there to create a family with you and to raise healthy children. So I think at the end of the day, you know, it's very easy for him to say, well, I was irresponsible. I don't give a shit. Fuck y'all. It's very easy to say that. You know what I'm saying? It's also very easy to blame the women and say, well, you guys are the dumbass bitches who got pregnant by him, so y'all are dumb. It's so easy to do that, but I keep thinking about the children. Imagine the seven kids watching this right now, and they may not even know that that is their father because you got a lot of kids out here who don't even know who their daddies are. So even if he is or not their father, you have a lot of children watching this right now, and they're seeing that they were technically a mistake. They weren't wanted. They weren't loved. They weren't even supposed to be here. That's insane. The foster care system is currently overflowing with these types of children. I didn't know that foster care was getting this out of control until we started having meetings on Discord. And I found out Several of the members were foster kids and they were aging out of the foster care system and they would come on and tell their stories. And what people don't understand is that these people, these children, these human beings that come out of these unions, these broken unions that were never meant to be, they end up creating these people who now have to figure out life, who are now going through a system that they didn't ask for. And it's a blessing if they're able to go through the foster care system and get around good people who care about them, who want the best for them, who want to guide them because neither parent cared enough to do their job as parents. But nine times out of ten, unfortunately, what ends up happening to a lot of these children, everything from physical abuse, mental abuse, sexual abuse. So when I see him ranting and I see this back and forth with men and women on social media, all I'm thinking about is all these unwanted kids. Because even if they don't end up in the foster care system, some single mother is now having to take care of a kid that she knew wasn't meant to be here. The daddy didn't want the kid. And every time she looks at that kid, she sees the father's face. And now she's backhanding him just because he looks like the father or speaks like the father, or because she made a mannerism that reminded her of that night with this father who has since abandoned her. And now all of that trauma, anger, animosity is being taken out on those kids. This situation goes so much deeper than this, this dude trying to just go viral. Um, it's, it's sad and it's heartbreaking. And this better be a wake-up call. 
when people show you who they are, men and women, you better believe them. Because everybody's just not talking. Even if you're able to get child support, like I always tell y'all, it's not about the money. Child support may help financially, but that's not what it is to be a parent. That's why I talk down every chance I get against the shit that Nick Cannon and so many of these brothers are pushing. Having all these women in multiple households with different children thinking it's cute because they have money. Money does not equate time. It does not equate morals. Money does not equate raising a child. And our community is so fractured now that people feel like getting pregnant by a celebrity is a flex. And then when the celebrity is not making what they once were making or they're, and they're not as famous as they once were, now they're on Instagram crying and going off and being upset and I'm struggling right now. My child hasn't seen their father in months. As adults, we have to start making better decisions. I get it when you're a teenager, teenagers make mistakes, they're still learning, their brains aren't fully functioned. But I'm seeing way too many adults, 25 and up, being in similar situations as teenagers. We have to start making better decisions because at the end of the day, it's the children that suffer. I'm not offended by too much of what he said in the video because he's speaking his truth as he sees it. It may be harsh. It may not feel good to some of y'all, but... That's his truth and that's his reality. And you have to understand that there's a lot of men who think like that. So if a man is telling you flat out, I don't want any kids. You can fuck around and find out if fat meat is greasy or not. But understand, if you choose to dance with the devil and go down that road and get pregnant after a man has told you he doesn't want any children, also understand that you will be facing a lifelong struggle of being a single parent and raising your child by yourself. And if you're okay with that, then God bless you. But if you don't want that for your life, don't put yourself in that situation. It's already, think about it, it's already a roll of the dice when you get pregnant by somebody who wants a child, right? You both want children. You both, you know, want to be parents. And at any point in time, the man could leave and you could be a single parent. You can go through a divorce and be a single parent. So it's already a roll of the dice with men who want children. So if a man is telling you flat out, I don't want any kids, I just want some coochie, don't test that fat meat. And honestly, if he's coming at you like this man, I wouldn't even fuck him. He's not respectful, very brash. He obviously looks as women as cum dumpsters, and then he moves on to the next one. And that's his grown business because some women do the same thing. They look at men as just, you know, something to fuck on and move on to the next man. And like I've always said, I don't care what adults do. That's your own business. My issue is when children get involved, when children come out of these unions and now we're having to deal with a bunch of dysfunctional adults who weren't loved, who weren't hugged, who weren't, you know, told sweet nothings growing up, told positive affirmations because neither parent wanted them because they didn't even want each other. It was just sex. Be very mindful getting yourself into these situations. And he better hope the only thing he gets out of this reckless behavior is seven kids. Because HIV and all types of STDs are still real and they're still out there. So on that note, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I pass the question off to you guys. How do you guys feel about this viral story and, you know, what people have to say about it? Do you guys agree with what he's saying? Do you feel like he's being too harsh and he's not taking responsibility? Do you feel like, you know, when things like this happen, it's more on the women, it's more on the men? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to like the video. Feel free to share the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.